We're going to unpack the concept of arrays in computer science, linking them to everyday scenarios. Let's get right into it. Arrays are like the shelves in the library, holding books or elements of the same type. In computer science, an array is a collection of items, all stored in contiguous memory location. This means each element is placed right next to each other, making access quick and efficient. Why is this important? Think of it this way. If you know the exact location of a book on a shelf, you can go straight to it. Similarly, in an array, knowing an element's index lets you access it directly, which is why accessing elements in an array has a time complexity of O of 1. It's super quick. Arrays are incredibly useful in situations where you have a fixed number of elements that you need to store and access quickly. They're perfect for scenarios where the size of your data set is known and doesn't change, like storing the days of the week or the months in the year. However, arrays also have a limitation. Since they're stored in contiguous memory locations, the size of an array needs to be known up front and cannot be changed dynamically. Except for, of course, dynamic arrays. This is why we often talk about the space complexity of an array as O of 1. It's fixed and doesn't grow as you add more elements. Let's consider an example where we create an array of sports teams. We can easily sort this array because each team name is stored next to each other in memory. What about array dimensionality? A one-dimensional array is like a single row of shelves. However, if you add more rows on top, you get a multi-dimensional array akin to a multi-tiered bookshelf. For example, a chessboard can be represented as a two-dimensional array. In programming, here's how a two-dimensional array might look. Now let's talk about types in an array. In static languages, all elements in an array must be of the same type. But in dynamic languages like JavaScript, you can mix types. Arrays shine in situations where you need to store and quickly access elements of a similar type. They're ideal for managing data that doesn't need frequent resizing or restructuring. When declaring an array in a language like C or C++, you need to set its size at the outset. This is crucial because allocating more space than needed wastes memory, and too little can lead to crashes. To wrap up, arrays are a fundamental tool in programming, much like how we naturally categorize things in our daily lives. They are efficient for managing datasets of known size, offering fast access and predictable memory usage.